The title slide for Called to the Feast says that this is an online exhibition for the Still Calling from the Edge conference. The background image shows a yellow fabric sunflower with a red circular centre on a white tablecloth, surrounded by a large number of different kinds of spoons arranged in a circle around the sunflower. Image one is a downloaded image of single-use pre-packed bread and wine, which have been one way of distributing communion during the pandemic. There are three different images. The first shows the plastic cup as it arrives. The second is with the lid open, revealing the host inside, and the third with the host and the wine visible and ready to be distributed. This image comes from a series of photographs by Alison Wilson in which this pre-packed wine is central to the image she builds up gradually of the bread and wine in a central sunflower surrounded by spoons. Alison's photographs are a motif that runs throughout this exhibition. Image two is a poem by Rosalind Beaton written in September 2021 and entitled Come, Come. Come, all you who feel arid in your heart. Come, the desert is a parched and desolate place, a vast emptiness where the searing sun scorches. Every grain of sand scorches my body, dries my mouth. My skin is shrunken and wrinkled, my feet burned and calloused. My legs are weary, body spent, my eyes burn, I can't see, but your words sit somewhere in the back of my mind, a faint echo in the recess of my brain. Come, come. I hear your voice in the soles of my burning feet. Come to the feast, I will nourish you, rekindle the light in your questing heart. Come, all you who hunger and thirst, listen with your anguished heart. Search for the oasis and a table dressed with leaves and bread, and water to quench your thirst, water to nourish your dry bones and soothe your burning, aching feet and trees to shelter you. Come, Come and see, all are welcome. But Lord, I have lost my way. Will there be a place for me? How do I find the path that takes the lesser known way? Listen, listen. Your heart will guide you. Remember, I am aligned with you. Your desert will be watered. You will be born anew. Come, come to the feast. I am waiting for you. Image three is a photograph of a pre-packed communion cup being held in a hand and being offered to us. The foil has printed on it, This is my body which is broken for you. Take, eat, do this in remembrance of me. Image four is an ink drawing by Gemma Brown showing a group of mobility and disability aids around a table with wheelchairs, tube feeds, pills, oil, a guide dog, a sunflower, a cane, a pump, a fidget, a laptop and a smartphone. Image five is a close-up photograph of a pre-packed communion cup ready for use and positioned on a circle of red material surrounded by a yellow fabric sunflower. Image six shares a playful open invitation and blessing shown in an image set in a kitchen tray. This photograph by Lois Bentley includes the words let every day bring you the hope and delicious food prepared with love. The child shown is her Czech niece's son, Jindrishek, 
age four, prepares for the feast. The tray came to her as a kit that she needed to assemble. It now lives on her gas hub, hob when she's not cooking. That is the setting in the photo. There is a rainbow in the background scene, which is the view over the Vlata River Valley from her niece's home. Image 7 shows a container for the host as it sits on the red circle at the heart of the yellow sunflower. The embossed lid has a red and white cross set in the centre of a white sun on a light green background. Image 8 is a photograph entitled Our Daily Veg by Fiona Macmillan. She says, I chose fruit and vegetables to illustrate an inclusive Last Supper because I wanted to use something tangible rather than created. I'm vegan and don't eat bread often. So this is my Give Us This Day Our Daily Veg. Her veg is in a line on a dark worktop. The round shapes echo the usual host, yet each are different. A few are closely related, but also completely different. Plum and tiger tomato, avocado and dessert pear, potato and sweet potato. Each need and are shaped by different growing conditions, warmth or cold, light, shade or complete darkness. Some are roots or tubers, some seeds or fruit, others are themselves full of seeds. The image shows the central figure as a butternut squash. While all the vegetables are round, the squash is both round and something more. Image 9, an image by Anderson Marsh entitled Come, is a collage of a broken host set on a blue and green background. Across the image are written, Come, come to the feast, bread is broken, torn and ripped apart. At this feast, water is poured, poured out for all. The river flows for the healing and reconciliation of all. Look, look, the captives are being set free. Misuse of power and neglect are no more. Prejudice and injustice are annexed. All will be held, heard and accepted. May we walk and align ourselves with those who seek to right wrongs, correct lies and live in truth and love. Wild Spirit, God, we long for this feast here on earth we cry out in lament, with groaning pains of your incoming subversive kingdom, with one accord we say, may your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Let this so be made on earth, let it be ratified in heaven. Image 11 shows the container for the host open as it sits on the red circle at the heart of the yellow sunflower. Inside are three segments. Image 12 is the second Our Daily Veg photograph by Fiona Macmillan with the veg in a line on a dark worktop. This image shows the central figure as the sunflower in the space between two parts of its life still shaped like a flower, but become a seed head, carrying the promise of abundant life. Hundreds of seeds which planted and tended can themselves become full of abundant life. The squash became Judas, not fitting in, reflection only partly visible. In image 13, we see a view across Alison Wilson's table from the yellow sunflower with its red centre and communion cup, past the large selection of spoons arranged around it, to, beyond the table, a vase of sunflowers and a prayer plant, Calathea. Image 14 is a picture by Chris Noonan 
of a brown round pizza base with a central cross and an organic flowing line design of a star surrounding the cross. In image 15 we see the view across Alison Wilson's table from a different angle but still showing the yellow sunflower with its red centre and communion cup past the large selection of spoons arranged around it to beyond the table a vase of sunflowers and a prayer plant, Calathea. Image 16 shows a circle of hands, natural, artificial and AI, set around and reaching towards a loaf of bread and a chalice of wine. This image by Alison Griffin is on a large piece of white cloth and has been sewn into the cloth using different colour thread for each item. Image 17 is a poem entitled Thy Kingdom Come by Kate Brumby. The manner in which we gather, tolerant and intolerant of grain, a wish to be united, one body, acknowledging we're all the same. Christ at the centre blesses, breaks and shares with all. Each receives what they need, and in many ways, much more. Not one is treated differently. Equality and inclusivity are seen, as all abide with one another. Life is shown as it should be. There's a message to the world of reconciliation and of trust. As one people, with one God, his kingdom come, they voice. There is one who sits in silence, no speech yet with loud Amen, brings her hands together, symbolising this true union. Image 18 shows a close-up of the centre of Alison Wilson's tablecloth from above, with the yellow sunflower and its red centre and communion cup, surrounded by a large selection of spoons arranged around them. Image 19 shows a second brown round pizza base by Chris Noonan with a central cross and an organic flowing line design of a star surrounding the cross. Around the pizza base is written equal shares, sharing, bread, love, last supper, love, pizza, inclusive. Image 20 shows a close-up of the centre of Alison Wilson's tablecloth from above with the yellow sunflower and its red centre and the host container surrounded by a large selection of spoons arranged around them. Image 21 is a broken host image by Fiona Macmillan. The seven contrasting hands belong to members of St Martin's community aged 7 to 90 of diverse gender, ethnicity, disability and experience. Each have a piece of the host. The child has the greatest part. Each has something worth sharing without which some part would be missing. Are they taking it apart to share or bringing it back into a whole? The broken host is a reminder of Jesus, his life broken and shared. It echoes the words of Donald Eady, Methodist theologian, whose life changed with a disabling spi spinal condition. My world cracked open and life broke through. Being broken is sometimes the way new life begins. Image 22 it shows Alison Wilson's tablecloth from above with the yellow sunflower in its red centre and the communion cup surrounded by a large selection of spoons arranged around them. Less than 8% of disabled people use wheelchairs and the majority of impairments are not visible to others. Of all the people in the UK who are disabled, approximately 70 have a hidden disability. The sunflower symbol and spoon theory relate 
to hidden disabilities. Image 23 is a photoshopped image by Jonathan Evans showing an altar with gleaming silver chalices and golden patterns. In the background we see the hands of a priest consecrating the elements. In the surface of the central chalice we see the reflection of a black woman who is about to receive. Image 24 is a meditation by Jonathan Evans. Come, all you who thirst. Come, all you who are weary. Come, all you who are poor. Come, all you who are bitter. Come, all you who grieve. Come, all you who are sinners. Come, all you who are oppressed. Come, all you who are traitors. Come, all you who are sick. Come, all you who are lost. Come to be saints. Come to be priests. Come to be little Christs. Come to sit and eat at the feast of life. Image 25 is a collage by Celia Webster showing a table with a large central loaf and chalice alongside individual portions for all at the table. A central black Jesus is sharing the meal to a diverse, inclusive group of disciples who are diverse in terms of age, class, disability, gender, race and religion. Image 26 is a digital painting by Chris Noonan with a central table on which is written the word love. Around the table is a central Christ figure and disciples of different colours. Green, red, blue, purple, orange, white, black, yellow and grey. The end slide has another image of the sewn circle of hands, natural, artificial and AI, set around and reaching towards a loaf of bread and a chalice of wine. Thanks are given on this slide to Rosalind Beaton, Lois Bentley, Gemma Brown, Kate Brumby, Jonathan Evans, Alison Griffin, Fiona McMillan, Anderson Marsh, Chris Noonan, Celia Webster, Alison Wilson, for all their ideas and works. Also to Rachel Noel for compiling the film and to the Disability Advisory Group at St Martin in the Fields, Heart Edge and the planning group for still calling from the edge for all their support.